guys, the picture is Hero here. Um, gonna be doing a let's play of Twilight Princess. This is actually a, a modded version to be in 4K on an emulator. I mean, uh, no, on, on the GameCube. Sorry. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't really say it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, I forget. I forgot what you just said. It's it's a texture pack. Yeah, it's a texture pack. Also, most most forgot to introduce. Uh, my friend Jason's here. We'll be playing the game together. Hi, my name is not Impetuous Hero. I don't really have an alias. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. I have two names that really adds anything. Let's let's not. That's that's a story for another day. That, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but point is, um, we're two we're two friends. We've been playing friends for a long time, and we're gonna be playing Twilight Princess today. We just, actually had an just channel just... years ago. Yeah, I didn't. Re I didn't really take off. <laughs> no, nope. we were young. We were just like trying it out. Just, it was just fun. It was, it was well. It was more like fun. Like, I look back on yeah. it and look how absurdly cringy it was. <laughs> but it was more like um, just having a good time, playing games, and you know, mm -hmm. nothing extreme. Yeah. Also, Twilight Princess is the game that really kicked off our friendship. Yeah. All those years ago. Um. Well, it goes back. Like, <laughs> it's it's kind of dumb. Because like everyone had like the Wii version of this game, because that's when the Wii that's when the Wii first came out when the yeah. game when the Twilight Princess first came out. When we, yeah. And then I had met you, what 2009 2010. Yeah, I remember we were just like on a bus. I or, in the, or in the train. Like, on the train. Yeah. And then I I was we were talking about Zelda and I said like oh I have Twilight Princess but I have it for the GameCube. And you yeah. were like, oh, oh me, yeah, too. me too, and I'm yeah. like, oh my god, I've never met someone who had the, the GameCube version, everyone yeah. has the Wii version. Yeah. And that started this long-lasting friendship of trials and tears <laughs> and laughs. <laughs> we've, we've had good times. Good, good times. <laughs> so, what do you want our name to be? If you can't think of anything, I was just gonna put it, um, in, in Petu. That's very conceited. I'm just kidding. No. Uh, we well, don't want to <laughs> keep it original. Keep it Link. Nah. I want to make. I want this for like something. All right. Oh, I got it. Name it Impetuous, and then name the horse Jason. So that way. Oh no! Don't do that. <laughs> wow. Was, uh, I can ride you. Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. That's terrible. That's an awful idea. Jesus. <laughs> um. Keep it. Keep Impetuous, and then name the horse Hero. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do it. That's so stupid. I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll be- I'll, my name will be Impetu. I don't think Impetuous would fit. Impet- How many- I mean, is there enough? Yeah, it should be enough for it to fit that. No, I meant- no, no, oh, there's definitely not Impetu. Much for him. Yeah. My name's Impetu. And hey, Impetu. What? Nice. Speaking of hero, yeah, this is, this is just going back to another story, completely unrelated to this. Um, a while back, I think I hero, yeah, and go for it. <laughs> so I think I think I, you know this already, but I'm not even sure. So when Melissa was playing Persona Five. Melissa's another one of our friends, by the way. She didn't know at the like when you have to sign your name, you're literally naming your character. Yeah. So she named her character Hero with a lowercase h. Wow. <laughs> and I think funny. her name was Hero Hero. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> Hero Hero. <laughs> with a lowercase h. That's funny. <laughs> Is that even legal? <laughs> can you can your first name be with a lowercase letter? My gosh. Oh my god, these designs. Man, he has. This mustache curves around his mouth. I will never get over that. I always thought this game looked very good, but it, it looks very dated. The thing is with this game is I think it obviously the HD makes it look. I was better. gonna say like this this mod definitely yeah, makes it, it makes like look, pop more. Yeah, it definitely looks, makes it look a bit better. But I think what it is is that although it's like a realistic styled Zelda and it looks really nice, the character designs are still kind of goofy. Well, I, I like that. I well, love that. I mean, I love, I love like strange designs, but I've always said, um, when it comes to like things that try to look real, it's gonna look dated in a few years. Yeah, so, like that's just how it is when it comes to like graphic wall. That's part of why um, Wind Waker still holds up. Oh, I will always say that Wind Waker like yeah. still looks great to this day. Yeah, which is my favorite game, by the way. I absolutely love Wind Waker. Yeah, my favorite Zelda game is Ocarina of Time. But, so um, generic. I, I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, I love, I, I, I love Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I, I love them all, though. I love them all.
I don't, I don't know, like, I, not Ocarina of Time. Wind Waker is something I could just always jump into. I was actually thinking about playing it today just because, like, yeah. I'm always, I don't know, like, there's just something magical about Wind Waker, and I feel like we don't get that with games anymore. That sounds mm -hmm. so mean because, like, you know, games are still good. Yeah. But, like, you know, I, I like the sense of adventure. I love, I, some people didn't like, like, exploring the seas. I love that part. Yeah, me too. I, I, the, what I, what, the reason why I fell in love with Zelda in the first place was because of that sense of adventure and exploration. That's, that's what I've, like, always been into, especially as a kid. Um, I mean, as a kid, the games felt so massive. Yeah. When I first felt massive and, like, I could really immerse myself in the world most of the time when I was a, when I was a kid. When did you first play Ocarina of Time? Like, how old were you? If you Ooh. could remember. Like, like the, I don't mean, like, like a cousin had it or something, because yeah. I, I knew people who had the game, but that wouldn't really count as my first time playing it. Yeah. I, I think the first time I, like, really played Ocarina of Time was maybe I was, like, eight or nine. Yeah. I got on the... I got the collector's edition for the GameCube. Yeah, that's, um... My first time playing it, like the first time I like I actually played it was at my cousin's house. He had the collector's edition too. And once I played the, played the collector's edition, I think, um, I borrowed it from him, and that's when I played it. I think that's how it, that's how it happened. Because I, I had an X, I didn't have an N sixty four growing up. I don't really? Know. Yeah, I didn't have an N sixty four growing up. So guys, I gave Angel. I gave him. I gave him a Nintendo sixty four yeah. for Christmas a few years ago. I yeah. guess that was a great gift. It was. It was <laughs> with a Japanese copy of Ocarina of Time, by the way. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I still haven't gotten to play it, but it's pretty cool. Thanks again for that. Oh no problem. But, I mean, I got it for you because, like, you said you know the game like the back of your hand. Yeah. So I'm like, if you could beat the I game in a different language, that you'd absolutely do know it like the back of your hand. All right, I'm yeah. sorry. Just, talking it's okay you said you didn't have an Nintendo 64 growing up yeah i didn't have an 64 growing up i had i i had um sega genesis i think you did no, no it wasn't genesis we're learning it was what it was time. whatever game had the the first the very first sonic 3d game you know what i'm talking about the one that was really fucking bad sonic 3d blast yes that's I the had, genesis i had i, that had, game. I had that game too that game was terrible i had the genesis that was like one of my first consoles i played it so much by the way i'm not gonna lie like as a, as a kid you could play anything yeah you know you know what else i had on the genesis what i had beavis and butthead wow <laughs> every once in a while i'll watch a playthrough of it on youtube i'm like wow this game is awful mm -hmm. it's like insanely difficult for no reason yeah <laughs> you know what the plot of the game is? What? They had like concert tickets and the tickets fell into like a long board. What the so fuck? they're finding pieces they're finding of, the tickets pieces of the tickets to put it back together wow. to go to the concert. That's crazy. It's so, but it's absurd. But like, it, I don't know, it fits in the context of the universe. Okay, going back to the topic at hand. Mm. Um, I was saying, I was I played Ocarina of Time for the first time, I think when I was like, I said eight or nine. Yep. And like the first time I explored Hyrule Field, like, the game felt so big. Yeah. Like, the game felt, like, massive. Yeah. And I was like, there's just so much to do. I don't know where to go. And, like, I look at it now, and I know where everything is. Mm. And I don't know. I, I, I miss that in games. Like, Breath of the Wild has it. Yeah, But, definitely. like, for Breath of the Wild, <laughs> it's kind of strange how I'm saying, like, oh, there's not enough to do now. But <laughs> for Breath of the Wild, there's just too much to do. And I'm, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm like, I feel so overwhelmed. I mean, I think that's... It's, it's designed to, to be that way because the, like, the, the reason why they designed it that way is like it's the kind of thing where you can jump in and just do anything and explore like when they first made the game they weren't expecting anyone to really like 100 percent it i don't know if you know that what they, breath of the wild yeah they weren't expecting they were, they were not expecting anyone to like literally 100 percent the game like quickly or anything nintendo because do you know your fan base yeah but that's <laughs> that's why they put in the 99 croc seeds and so all that shit to do like they, have you they seen like there the there are playthroughs so where people 100 percent the game in one sitting my god that and like it that takes like, awesome. i don't think it takes them as long as you think it is because they probably know where everything is yeah but oh my god like i don't even know where to i don't even know where to go within the first hour i'm like i'm just overwhelmed by so much yeah i mean i guess maybe if i had a map i mean i do have a map i mean like if i wrote down what i should do mm -hmm. kind of like um going back to the persona 5 like when there's a like the game Persona Five is another game that feels so massive. Yeah. But once you have a guide and you know what you should what you could do throughout the day, it makes the game so much more like tamed. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. It absolutely isn't a bad thing. But I don't know. I guess it's just your perspective. Like, or maybe I'm just getting old. Hmm. Because like I'm at that age now where like 
you just don't have time to play games yeah. as much as you'd like to. Yeah. Because not even that. People are like, oh, it's like, oh, you don't play this game because you don't want to. It's not that. It's just, you know, you only have so many hours in the day you get to do things. Yeah, especially now that like we're both we're older now. You know, we're not in high school or college anymore. I remember, you remember what I told you the other day? Yeah. How I said, um, it's funny, like, when you're a kid and you come home from school, it's like, what, three? I get home by like three, three forty-five, and I'm like, oh my god, I have all this time to do whatever I want, and yeah. I had homework to do, too. Hey, but fucking goat, you saw that? <laughs> He's the one. He's the no, rebel. This, this guy wants to be a dick. Come on, man. <laughs> um, I was saying how it's funny that... You're like, oh, you have homework and you still have time to do whatever you want. And then, like, you're not even, like, exhausted by the end of the day. Like, now I get home at, like, I don't I don't work a super full-time job. So, I get home at, like, 2 o'clock. Yeah. And I'm already, like, exhausted. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't have time to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, strange, but, no, no, it's just an adult thing, I guess. It definitely is. It's just, it just comes with, with us being a bit older now well you just have more responsibilities too yeah. like we're both in our in our later 20s like finished finished college both are like working and, and especially with covid as well it's like, just hard to find like legitimate work yeah so i'm just taking it easy till i find like work that actually is what i went to school for yep but you know i'm grateful that i have work come in money coming in as opposed to sitting on my butt and doing nothing all day <laughs> yeah Oh, cause I did that for a while. I was I, I was on unemployment for months, and it, oh, even even when you're not doing anything, you feel like you don't have enough time. Yeah, which is so strange. Yeah, a lot of times I just feel like there's not enough hours in the day. But then when I'm sitting there, I feel like I'm being a lazy sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone's felt like felt that before. Oh, uh, I mean, like, that's that's just like you know, yeah. I'm, that's why I'm happy that I'm like at least doing something, even nice. if my hands are super dry from work. Can I just say I love Link's house? I think, yeah. I think Link's house is awesome. I think his house is cool too, but imagine having to climb a ladder to go to your bed every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why my brother didn't want to sleep on the top bunk. Wow. He's like, why would I want to climb up a ladder and climb up a down one every time I get up <laughs> in the morning? Yeah, I can see that. Which I agree with. Which it's also kind of funny just going back to like other things. I remember when the oh nice. I remember when the <laughs> HD version of this game came out like five years ago. Yeah. Five years ago, dude. Oh my God. Five years ago. Don't remind me. I still remember what I was doing. That's when I had like a, this crazy amiibo phase. Yeah. Which, by the way, like uh. <laughs> you're letting a pregnant woman run to you. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen this before, which is like when she actually like uh. Like a like a running animation. Yeah, I've never seen her like run over to the to the water like that. And you say you beat this game how many times? Look, I guess you don't I, know the game as well as you think you can. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my I was about to say right here. I think one of my small like nitpicks with this game is how slow Link climbs. Oh, yeah, he could definitely go a little bit faster. True. This guy's model. But at the, at, yeah, at, at least you you get the claw shot pretty early, so at least there's that. We don't get the double one. Yeah, but I'm saying like you oh, can yeah, like, oh, yeah, skip that, a lot that, of that climbing. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, you can skip a lot of climbing by just uh, using the clutch shot. I almost fell I mean, off I mean, I still love I still love this game absolutely. Yeah. This this is the game I probably spent some of the most time in, like playing. Like I played Ocarina Time a lot. I played Ocarina Time a fuck ton. You like, beat Wind Waker like a few times. Yeah, but this game I, I beat a lot. What's it doing? So piece of trivia, I think you know this already, but um, are you aware that uh, Twilight Princess was supposed to be a Wind Waker sequel? Oh, no, I don't think I knew that. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a, some kind of Wind Waker sequel, yeah. and if you've noticed, um, well the game runs on a modified Wind Waker engine. Mm -hmm. You ever notice when you find a Dark Knight in this game, he does li literally the same moves that Toon Link does in Wind Waker? Mm, which ones? Like with the Quick Time event. Oh, I mean, like, but that's, I mean, the those rolling. are the, you mean the hidden skills, yeah, I know, Yeah, I, I mean, know. like, those yeah. are, but those are, like, legitimately the same things you do in Wind Waker. Yeah, I know. The head, the helm splitter, and, and the... And when he rolls the, around, the, and... The back slice, yeah, I know. It's crazy, but I mean, like, it's just crazy, because, it's um, that you can do it on your own now. You can just do the moves, instead of having to wait for the, the prompt. It's just crazy, like, to think, like, this could have been, like, another Wind Waker. And it's yeah. sad that we didn't get one, because, like, they were scared that it wasn't gonna sell well, because... 
Look, I love Wind Waker, but it is sad that the game didn't sell as well as it did because people were turned off by its art style. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I'm gonna be playing, like, pretty quick. I, this is a, not a, I'm not, this is not like a, like a speed run per se, but I am gonna be blasting through the game as quickly as possible because oh, yeah, I just... play this game a lot and I know I do everything basically. <laughs> I'm just right. sitting here watching everyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, if you, want, you said you want to play, maybe, maybe. like a, maybe like a, for a few things, but like okay. I don't, I don't know the game as well as like you do. Yeah, if as, it was okay. Wind Waker, then you have a different story. <laughs> yeah, whenever, <laughs> whenever you want to, just uh, let me know. And I think uh, next time we'll we're gonna be fishing, so that's the end for this episode. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>